Could there ever be an atheist on a sinking ship? Assalamu alaikum brothers, sisters, friends and everybody else watching Welcome to Thought Revolution In this video we're going to be looking at the 31st chapter of the Quran, verse 32 But before we do this, before we talk about atheists on sinking ships I want to speak about something related to this which is very powerful and important And that is to do with knowledge, truth, certainty How do we arrive at these things? See we live in a world where atheists, generally people, you know, promote this idea that science is the only way to truth, that you know, logic, we need logical, rational argumentation to believe in something, accept something, to be certain of something. All of these paradigms are out there. But the question is, why are, they, why are these the only methods? Why are they the best methods of truth? Take science for example, the idea of scientism that science is the only way to truth collapses because one, science can't give you absolute truth, it's based on induction, and two, Science can only tell you about physical things. It can only observe physical things, study physical things. Therefore, that's why we say science is amoral. It can't tell you about moral truths, for example. Right? So science isn't the only way to truth. And even with that being said, you know, most of the things we believe that scientists tell us is based on their say-so, their testimony. And the majority of the things we believe in as human beings is based on testimony, which is another route to knowledge. From an Islamic perspective, see when we study the Quran, God seldom, Allah seldom does He try to prove His existence through argumentation and these types of proofs. Instead what God does is He, for example, speaks about His signs, right? And signs are something far more powerful because the entire universe is a sign, you are a sign, right? And what's even more powerful and beautiful about signs and out of God's mercy, look what Allah does, He gives you special, unique signs, custom designed for you in your lives, right? Special occasions, situations, things that happen. Unlike a generic logical argument, isn't this more powerful? Isn't God giving you something much more than you're asking for? Special signs, things that happen in your life. And think about this, even as an atheist for a second, reflect over your life. And I'm sure you've had experiences, occasions in your life where you've been stuck, you've faced death, you've, something's happened. And at that moment, you've had no other option, no one to turn to and you've turned to God and He has sufficed you. He's taken you out of that situation. Right? Think about this. These are signs. God gives us these signs. And even as Muslims, unfortunately, you know, we turn, we've turned to this idea that we need logical proofs for God. We need scientific data for God, even if it's indirect scientific data, so on and so forth. We don't. Allah is directing us towards something that will give us more real true certainty. And that is His signs. To reflect over His signs. The Quran is a sign. We call them verses. But these verses are ayat, the sign, to reflect over his signs, use our intellects and to accept the obvious, right? Don't turn away from the signs. And this is why in this verse, chapter 31, verse 32, let's look at the end of the verse. God tells us that nobody, nobody denies his signs except for he who is an ungrateful traitor, right? Think about this. And the reality is we can't, if we have lived our lives and we have been at, at all attentive, we would have seen these signs around us. Things happen in our lives which you know, have just directed us, just opened us up and made us realize there is something there. There is something that is controlling my life, directing my life and so on and so forth. And when we've seen this, a grateful person, when he has, sees these blessings in his life, his hands, his feet, his teeth, his eyes, when he realizes these blessings and he just doesn't go through life like, a, like, like this, this, this person who's sleeping, when he realizes these signs, he's grateful. And when you're grateful, you have to be grateful to someone. You can't just be grateful for the sake of being grateful, right? And it only makes sense. The logical person knows that there must be a higher power, a creator who is directing my life, who gives me everything, who made me. And you are, he is truly grateful, this person. But God is telling us those people, right, that deny his signs are truly ungrateful. And they're truly traitors because they turn away, even after signs come to them. And there was more, even more powerful in this verse. If we look at the beginning of this verse, God highlights or points us towards one, another one of his signs, a very powerful sign, it's an experience. God says when these people, some people are at sea and these waves start coming, high waves which cover them and shade them and, and the boats are rocking and they don't know if they're going to make it out alive. At this point, you know, people turn towards God in sincere faith and sincere religion and they worship God and they pray to God and they ask God to save them. Ask yourself the question, in these situations, what logical proof are you basing your belief on? What logical proof are you relying on that's convinced you that God exists and He's the only one that can help you? When you're on a plane, you know, so many thousands of feet up and you experience turbulence and the plane is rocking and you don't know what's going on and you start praying, even as an atheist, at that moment you start praying internally, what proof has come to you? What logical argument has come to you? What data has come to you that's made you believe that God exists and I need to pray to Him because He's the only one that can help me? 
See, the reality is these are signs. And then further down, God gives us another sign, which is when He delivers you safely to land. He helps you and He delivers you safely. And you're very grateful at this point, but then you turn away. God says that these people, they become very moderate in faith. They turn away from God. They go back to their lives, back to doing what they're doing. They forget about God. They turn away from Him. They become ungrateful. Right? This is the situation of life. This is our situation as human beings. Unfortunately, many people deliberately deny these signs. They deliberately turn away. And God gives everyone signs. But people have deliberately decided to cover them up, turn away from them, and just get on with what they're doing. This is true injustice to oneself. Then these people, they want evidence. They want proof of God. It's like saying somebody walking out on a very sunny, bright day on a beach goes to a seaside and the sun is shining. They go, they stick their head in the sand and they say, give me proof of the sun. This is what we're doing. The signs are all around us, just like the blazing sun that will surround this person. But if you choose to stick your head in the sand and then ask for evidence for God, unfortunately, there's no one that can help you. So if you are sincere and you want to find the truth, then reflect over your own life because that is the greatest sign. That is one of the greatest signs. And reflect over the book of God, the Quran, which is another sign, right? Reflect over these things. Really think about these things, my friends brothers and sisters, and realize, just to conclude and summarize, you know, don't go by this false narrative and idea that science is the only way to truth, logical arguments are the only way to truth. No, God is giving you something far more personal, far more powerful, which are His ayat, His signs. Turn towards them, reflect over your own life, and worship the Creator, the Creator of everything that exists, the one that gives us everything, the one that loves us more than our own mothers, and turn to Him and worship Him alone. I thank you guys for watching. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.